day 216, Isaiah 24 through 27, Restoration of Israel, 24, Impending judgment on the earth, 25, Prayed to God, 26, A song of salvation, Take refuge from the coming judgment, 27, Restoration of Israel. For the last 11 chapters, Isaiah has been looking at this world through a magnifying glass, targeting devastating judgment for specific nations. But in today's section, he steps back to survey the prophetic landscape with a telescope, and what he sees causes him to respond in jubilation. Earth and heaven alike experience God's sifting judgment. The redeemed ones, vindicated at last, break forth in spontaneous song, exalting the Lord of the universe. Though often downcast and downtrodden, the people of God now have something truly worth singing about refuge, deliverance, and ultimate triumph in the Holy One of Israel. Is that the song of your lips today? Twenty four. Behold, the Lord makes the earth empty and makes it waste and turns it upside down and scatters abroad the inhabitants of it. It shall be, as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the creditor, so with the debtor, taker of, so with the giver of interest to him. The earth shall be utterly emptied and utterly laid waste, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourns and fades away, the world languishes and fades away. The lofty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is polluted under the inhabitants of it, because they have transgressed the laws, violated the statutes, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore has the curse devoured the earth. The other in are found guilty. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourns, the vine languishes, all the merry-hearted do sigh. The mirth of tambourine ceases. The noise of those who rejoice ends. The joy of the harp ceases. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to those who drink it. The waste city is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying in the streets because of the wine. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. In the city is left desolation, and the gate is struck with destruction. For thus shall it be in the midst of the earth among the peoples, as the shaking of an olive tree, as the gleanings when the vintage is done. These shall lift up their voice, they shall shout, for the majesty of the Lord they cry aloud from the sea. Therefore glorify the Lord in the east, even the name of the Lord, the God of Israel in the isles of the sea. From the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs, glory to the righteous. But I said, I pine away, I pine away, woe is me. The treacherous have dealt treacherously, yes, the treacherous have dealt very treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are on you, O inhabitant of the earth. It shall happen that he who flees from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he who comes up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows on high are opened, and the foundations of the earth tremble. The earth is utterly broken. The earth is torn apart. The earth is shaken violently. The earth shall stagger like a drunken man, and shall sway back and forth like a hammock. And the disobedience of it shall be heavy on it, and it shall fall and not rise again. It shall happen in that day that the Lord will punish the host of the high ones on high and the kings of the earth on the earth. They shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, 
and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, for the Lord of hosts will reign on Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem, and before his elders shall be glory. Chapter 25 O Lord, you are my God, I will exalt you, I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, even counsels of old, in faithfulness and truth. For you have made of a city a heap, of a fortified city a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall a strong people glorify you, a city of awesome nations shall fear you. For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a stronghold to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat, when the blast of the awesome ones is as a storm against the wall. As the heat in a dry place will you bring down the noise of strangers, as the heat by the shade of a cloud, the song of the awesome ones shall be brought low. O to all strangers, as the heat by the shade of a cloud, the song of the awesome ones shall be brought low. O to all strangers, as the heat by the shade of a cloud, the song of the awesome ones shall be brought low. O to all strangers, as the heat by the shade of a cloud, the song of the awesome ones shall be brought low. O to all faces, and the reproach of his people will he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. It shall be said in that cold, This is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain will the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down in his place, even as straw is trodden down in the water of the dunghill. He shall spread forth his hands in the midst of it, as he who swims spreads forth his hands to swim. But the Lord will lay low his pride together with the craft of his hands. The high fortress of your walls has he brought down, laid low, and brought to the ground, even to the dust. Chapter 26 In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will he appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open you the gates, that the righteous nation which keeps faith may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord is an everlasting rock. For he has brought down those who dwell on high, the lofty city he lays it low. He lays it low even to the ground. He brings it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, lays it low. He lays it low even to the ground. He brings it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down. You that are upright do direct the path of the just. Yes, in the way of your judgments, Lord, have we waited for you. To your name, even to your memorial name, is the desire of our soul. With my soul have I desired you in the night. Yes, with my spirit within me will I seek you earnestly. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness he will deal wrongfully, and will not see the majesty of the Lord. O Lord, your hand is lifted up, yet they don't see but they shall see your zeal for the people and be disappointed. Yes, fire shall devour all your adversaries. O Lord, you will ordain peace for us, for you have also worked all our works for us. O Lord our God, other lords besides you have had dominion over us, but by you only will we make mention of your name. They are dead, they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore have you visited and destroyed them, and made all memory of them to perish. You have increased the nation, O Lord. You have increased the nation. You are glorified. You have enlarged all the borders of the land. 
O Lord, in trouble have they visited you. They poured out a prayer when your chastening was on them. Like as a woman with child, who draws near the time of her delivery, is in pain, and cries out in her pangs, so we have been before you, Lord. We have been with child, we have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not worked any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Your dead shall live, my dead bodies shall arise. Awake and sing, you who dwell in the dust, for your dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast forth the dead. Come, my people, enter you into your chambers and shut your doors about you. Hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be past. For behold, the Lord comes forth at you. Hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be past. For behold, the Lord comes forth at you. Hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be past. For behold, the Lord comes forth at you. In that day, the Lord with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan the swift serpent and Leviathan the crooked serpent, and he will kill the monster that is in the sea. In that day, a vineyard of wine sing to it. I am the Lord, its keeper. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Wrath is not in me. Would that the briars and thorns were against me in battle. I would march on them. I would burn them together. Or else let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me. Yes, let him make peace with me. In days to come shall Jacob take root. Israel shall blossom and bud, and they shall fill the surface of the world with fruit. Has he struck them as he struck those who struck them? Or are they slain according to the slaughter of those who were slain by them? In measure, when you send them away, you do contend with them. He has removed them with his rough blast in the day of the east wind. Therefore by this shall the iniquity of Jacob be forgiven. And this is all the fruit of taking away his sin, that he makes all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are forgiven. And this is all the fruit of taking away his sin, that he makes all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are just shall rise no more. He is solitary, a habitation deserted and forsaken, like the wilderness, there shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branch of shall deserted and forsaken, like the wilderness, there shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branch of shall buyer. For it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he who made them will not have compassion on them, and he who formed them will show them no favor. It shall happen in that day that the Lord will beat off his fruit from the flood of the river to the brook of Egypt, and you shall be gathered one by one, you children of Israel. It shall happen in that day that a great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come who were ready to perish in the land of Assyria and those who were outcast in the land of Egypt, and they shall worship the Lord.